Kinmen Island is famous for a history of wars fought in the area, but one man took the sorrow of war and turned it into a fantastic success story of innovation. He also brought an entire new meaning to the concept of recycling. In 1958, China dropped as many as 500,000 bombs on Kinmen Island over a 44-day period, followed by thousands of bombs carrying propaganda and leaflets, which lasted until 1978. Around the same time, a creative craftsman, later named Maestro Wu, decided to turn this cloud into a silver lining by cutting up used artillery shells and forging them into state-of-the-art steel knives. Today, Maestro Wu's son continues his father's knife factory business in Kinmen, which includes an impressive showroom. And to make things more interesting and personal, he decided to allow visitors an opportunity to go inside the factory to see how the knives are being forged. A piece is cut from an artillery shell, then smelted, hammered, forged, grinded and polished to produce a beautiful shiny blade. One artillery shell can make around 60 steel blades. And you would be surprised how heavy these little bits of steel are. One of them weighing in at around 500 grams. In addition, the type of steel used to make these artillery shells and subsequently these blades are a lot thicker in density than ordinary steel. So his knives are not only truly innovative, but also really strong. Mr. Wu said in an interview that the secret to their success is not only in the story behind their knives, but also in the fact that they still forge their knives by hand, as opposed to low-grade mass-produced knives, which are simply cut from metal boards. Maestro Wu's knife factory is for sure a must-see if you're going to Kinmen. I did a total of 12 clips on Kinmen Island, so if you want to see those, including places to stay in Kinmen, go check out my blog page.